when you're ready to place concrete, you cannot simply pull up to the side of the trench and discharge the concrete from the back of the truck into the trench. The concrete cannot be allowed to fall through the slurry or through the water if you're pouring any kind of a structure below water. If the concrete fell through the water or the slurry, the fines would wash out of the heavy aggregate and you would not achieve a homogeneous result. So you need to somehow contain the concrete and segregate it from the surrounding water or slurry. Now this is how it's done for slurry walls, but the same method would apply anytime you're placing concrete underwater. You begin with a hopper to create an easy target for the concrete, and then there are lengths of tube approximately 8 inches in diameter. They come in sections, they're assembled to any length you need and you lower this assembly down to the bottom of the excavation. When you begin placing concrete, the weight of the concrete within the tube will push the concrete out of the bottom of the tube and displace the slurry instead of mixing with the slurry. So the discharge end of the tube must always be submerged in concrete now after a period of time you have to begin removing these sections of uh, tremi pipe. The concrete will begin to set and you need to get the tremi pipe out as you advance the work. You do some calculation how far will one concrete truck go or two concrete trucks and you determine at what point you want to begin lifting out the tube. So that's an ongoing effort. You continuously lift out sections of the tremi pipe. Always keeping in mind when you reinstall the tremi pipe, the tip of the pipe has to be below the level of the concrete so that you're always placing concrete into concrete and displacing the slurry. Please continue with the next video which shows the process of placing tremi concrete.